We are on our way to try and get fish number four now. Oh, and there he is. Next cast. I mean, we're on the freaking pool. This one might be the biggest one. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. We have got a fun day out on the lake with Jay Gun fishing up from Austin. Homie Chip and also Ro Riggin. You guys know the deal. We're going to throw some big swim baits today. The water's looking clear. It's winter time, y'all. Temps are still cold out here. And we got Zeke the dog with us. Devin's with us. A whole slew of anglers, man. So if we can't catch them today, something is truly wrong. What do you think? We're going to get them. Three at five. Okay. Two at six. I'm and listening. an eight plus today. And an eight plus. Oh, man. You heard it first on the channel from Jay Gone Fishing. All right. Let's go ahead and drop in. We are launched. Jay and the boys are doing the same. About to make the first cast. Got Zeke his bed. And check this out. Jay has lent me for the day because he knows I've been rocking this not so certified swim bait rod for the ghost. We're definitely going to throw this today. Well, anyways, that's the ghost. 15 inch bait, eight ounces. He has lent me for the day the Miller Rods Dream Freak. This is a 710 extra heavy rated for up to eight ounce bait. So I'm going to put some time in with this thing right here. Pretty much feels like a broomstick. Look at this long handle going to be worlds different than casting it out with what I've been using. So we'll get some time in with the ghost here shortly. Let's go ahead and just make the first few casts. We are breaking out the Miller rods. We have put the tranks on it. Just went through the eyelets. I untied the ghost from the setup it was on. We're about to rig this thing up. Palomar knot, top line tie, just like we've been doing. No lip, V tail. So maybe we'll get the first fish on this thing today. First time fishing the ghost off the boat. This ought to be interesting. Let's see how she casts. This ought to be different. Let me just get a little, yeah, a little light fling. Oh, yeah. How far will it go? Launched. <laughs> bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Okay. Yes. Oh, on with the mission fish. Nice. <laughs> First one with the muscle rod. <laughs> All right, Zeke. Swallowed it. Look, bud. First fish in the boat, Zeke, goes to the lady. <laughs> Nice. She's got all four of us whooped, all four of the guys. First fish in the boat. This is what did it. Changed things up to that 316 mission fish. I want to say this is the six inch white color. Not very many casts in, linked up with this guy. And that was also on the new Goon Squad Gold Series Muscle Rod. I think this is my like second time using it, but it's actually turning out to be a really awesome rod and you can save 10% on it in the description below. Check it out. Jay brought up a good point. I think these fish are just really down in that grass and this is really the only thing that I have to be able to punch down into it. So that's what I was doing, just letting it go to the bottom and just kind of working it like a Texas rig. I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy go. Ready, Zeke? God, these fish are cold. But yeah, we've been trying a lot of the baits kind of more in the higher column. Went ahead and switched things up on a bottom bait and linked up pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and get some more. Oh, swish. Yep, there we go. Jerk bait. Nice. All right. Well, it took me a while to get my first one in the boat. It's been a couple of hours now, I would say, but we got him on the jerk bait with a long pause. I hope you guys saw that right there. And uh, I think there's room for more now. I kind of creeped back into the shallow zone and got her done. Slow outing. Hey, now no treble hooks in your face, Zeke. Okay, so there you go. Junior Scout getting it done. Shad with like that chartreuse belly, three to five foot diver. Two treble hooks on a Junior Scout. You get three treble hooks on the full size Scout. And uh, that's my first one in the boat. Looking for something a little bit bigger with the next uh, fish though. Say bye, Zeke. Say bye. All right. We will see you, bud. Bye bye. Got one on the jerk bait. There we go. Yep. Fish number two, jerk bait. All right, we're on them now. If I don't have grass, it's the best. <laughs> All right, that was quick, man. And upsizing a little bit. Come on, Zeke. Two on the jerk bait in two minutes. Might have to make that switch. 
Hey, easy does it, killer. Prominent lateral line, check that out. Is that what happens when they're cold? Got them the same way, one in the mouth and one in the belly. Not necessarily ideal, but I don't think it was coming off the hook. Let me just get these pliers to make things simple. We are currently spot locked on the prime real estate here. Devin's grabbing me the pliers because if I'm going to be catching a bunch of treble hook fish, they make things easier. This is uh, not record size in the boat today on uh, this lake, but if we can get on some fish, get some numbers, we're bound to find a big one here soon enough. That is number two for me, Zeke. Yeehaw! Put them pliers right there. Long pauses. Not necessarily every single chance I get, but it seems like the bites I've been getting are when this thing is just sitting there for five, ten seconds. I can't go much longer than that. Otherwise, I feel like I'm just working a drop shot, letting it sit. So let's give this a nice pause and then hope for some weight on that next pull. Guys, we literally just got a third one off camera. I should have put it on the big camera or something. I know better than to do that. Literally in the winter months, whenever the bites are few and far between, and then you start getting on a hot bite, you don't want to miss any of these things on footage. But I think what happened is, I'm, well, it wasn't my fault. I was rolling still from that last fish, but okay, I'm letting that thing get down to its diving depth. I was uh, letting it roll after that last fish, and then all of a sudden I went to go save the clip from that third fish I just caught, and the GoPro literally was just frozen. So you know how it gets sometimes. Maybe that clip was saved, but I highly doubt it. So we are on our way to try and get fish number four now. Oh, and there he is. Next cast. I mean, we're on the freaking school. This one might be the biggest one. Biggest one. He might be a pound and a half. Oh, he might be two pounds. <laughs> there we go, Zeke. We're on him, boy. Yoo! All right, we are smoking them in this exact same spot on the jerk bait. I mean, they are piled high. We have found the winter hiding spot, Zeke. Yeah, tell them, tell them, hey, tell them we'll see you later, bud. We'll see you later. That's fish number four. Yeah. Right in front of the boat, man. We're spot locked on the juice, apparently. That's four fish out of the same spot, have not hardly moved. Come get in on the action. <laughs> I guess they're here. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's one right there, too. There he is. That's fish number five, maybe? I think that's number five, Zeke. Golly, they just keep getting bigger, don't they? Peace out. Mumbo number five. Y'all, we are in seven and a half foot of water. 48 degree water temp, plane overhead. It's a good day. I mean, they're over here. <laughs> if one of y'all does not get one. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Yep, okay. <laughs> He's like, oh god what do we got what do we got oh yeah <laughs> Woo, Zeke. we are on them <laughs> <God dang. laughs> hey 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 easy 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 you're scaring them you're scaring them <laughs> hey no you're gonna i swear hey you gotta stop no no. Hey, Bill, I'm in the mood so you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Roger just Whoa. smoked one. Whoa! I see what you're saying. <laughs> Got T bone! <laughs> Look at the way the bass hit this jerk bait. This is nuts. Dude. He's got one hook. Oh my gosh. That's a good one though. Honestly, might be bigger than that mission fish one. I'm not. Y'all got that boat loaded down too. Check this out. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, I think it's fighting. I can't tell, Zeke. His head's shaking. Oh, he's huge. Oh, God. He's making a run for it. Zeke, can I flip him? Get the net. Oh, we got him. <laughs> Let's go. We gotta find a three plus. <laughs> Someone's gotta catch a decent fish. The, you got, oh. What'd you get him on? <laughs> oh, you saw it, Roger? It's so cool when you see it happen, dude. Yeah, he came out of the ground and he was like, what? Whenever Ryan was with us on the boat and he was watching me cast out to one and just saw the jig fall, he saw the bass turn on it and eat it. It's like, it's it's so different when you see it. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Zeke. What do we got here? 
Yes! Yes! Boys! <laughs> we got him in the boat, nothing but hogs today! Did you see that hook set, Zeke? I hit him with the 360 wraparound. <laughs> <laughs> Quit playing with us. <laughs> all right, y'all, so let's show you what has been catching all the bass today. We are rocking the Junior Scout Jerkbait by Guggen Squad. So you might think it looks similar to a crank if you're unfamiliar. This thing is really gonna slay. It's gonna catch the bass all four seasons of the year, but particularly stands out in winter when you need something a little bit slower moving. Let me explain. This guy's got a little bit of a shallow lip here. Unlike a crankbait that is designed to be worked with the reel, this one is designed to be worked with rod twitch movement and it gets a pause. When you stop twitching it, it darts around and then it suspends. That's one of the powerful things about these Guggen Squad jerkbaits is they literally, let's say they are supposed to dive three to five feet, this one, and then we have the larger full-size scout here that dives four to six feet. Once they get down to their diving depth and you pop it a few times, then it just suspends in place and it stays at that depth. So it's not gonna rise to the surface. It's not gonna sink down low. It stays put. It gives these bass ample amount of time to say, oh, I wanna eat that and then come and spank it. And that is exactly what's been happening and how we've been linking up on all the fish today. I am using the Guggen Squad Gold Twitch Rod, which is designed specifically for jerk baits and other kind of like topwater treble hook walking baits. With this slower tip here, it's designed to really help keep the treble hooks pinned. You don't really want a fast action or extra fast. As far as the reel goes, I'm just rocking a Shimano. This is a seven two to one gear ratio. Somewhere in that mid range is gonna be perfect. So if you guys are having a tough time, the bite is really finicky. And trust me, we were circling this place and not getting hardly any hits break out the jerk bait you absolutely have got to get some numbers in the boat on an otherwise slow day that's exactly what's happening here this spot is great too because there is hydrilla so a lot of grass but you don't want to be getting caught in the grass necessarily you want to work right above that grass or even in just open water now clear water is where jerk baits are going to excel you're not going to want to throw these in stained water this one does have a little bit of a rattle but there's other baits that would work a little bit better for those applications so if you got some clear water break out the jerk bait and get on some numbers let's get back to it oh hogs that's the zone Jay's on another one, right back where we first started catching them. 95% of the fish are in 5% of the water. It's the 80-20 rule. And if you ain't running the mercury, you ain't catching <laughs> So here, let me show you this thing, walking it. If I were to just, if I were to just crank it, then it's got a nice, like, you know, more of an active swim. It comes to the surface, but I'm keeping the rod tip down a little bit. Y'all are in the right spot. No. No. Not good. Pretty sure. Got him. That's the biggest one. Oh, yeah. He's easily five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they can't all escape, Zeke. I know y'all don't realize that it's been like 10 seconds probably saucy swimmer getting on him with the underspin this is what i like to call the fish finder when you're trying to cover water get you a little saucy swimmer little blade on the bottom for the flash a little faster than the jerk bait so you can cover some ground and uh, three hours later you might catch a fish that about wraps it up y'all saucy swimmer was the last catch of the evening for us we dipped out of there just a little while before sunset we were kind of in a little bit of a hurry jay had to get back down to austin but go ahead and check out all the guys linked in the description their social media as well as follow us on instagram why not and grab you some jerk baits get on some of these finicky winter bass but get ready because the bite is picking up very soon y'all spring is in the air i can almost taste it and the bass fishing is going to get insane. So subscribe if you're not already, and we'll catch you on the next video. Peace. <clears throat>